just over a ton worth of liner. So thank God we have the small army of certified Aquascape contractors out here with us. Taking a, a small army here to go pick up this big old roll of liner. Good thing I got the camera in my hand though. <laughs> How much content am I supposed to be making right now? Everything, all of it. Everything. Here I am. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Well, it seems like an eternity ago. We started excavation and starting to cut in where the three patio ponds are going to sit, but we made it. We've got sand in here. As you can see, Dan and Juan are fine tuning our elevations. We've got everything excavated. We are starting to put fabric in now. We're gonna line heavy duty fabric all on the walls. And then because we have the sand, we're gonna do the light duty stuff down on the bottom. So we have plenty of protection down below, but we just wanna cover these walls up because you can see there's just a lot of rock and cragginess and we just want to make sure that we're protecting the liner as we start rocking ourselves up. Here's where the pump wall is going to sit and then our makeshift skimmer will end up in there. We're going to put a little bit of heavy duty fabric in there. Um, but we're going to line up this wall, then our fabric, and then a 40 foot by 70 foot long piece of liner, which by my calculations is just over a ton worth of liner. So thank God we have the small army of certified Aquascape contractors out here with us. Otherwise, I don't think Dan, Chris, Juan, and myself could carry it. Do you think so? Okay. Okay, Juan. you guys heard it. You Juan. guys heard it. Dan said, Dan said. Juan could do it. Juan could do it. Juan could do it. All right. The last little shovel bit. What's up everybody? My name is Zach with Site Pros Landscaping. I don't know what I'm supposed to be filming, but here I am filming. So check it out. This is what we got going on. Just got all the fabric in and on uh, this project here. And we're making some progress. About to get some liner in and uh, keep her going. Peace out guys. Have a good day. Taking a, a small army here to go pick up this big old roll of liner. <laughs> Good thing I got the camera in my hand though. <laughs> That was a lot of work. This is how we pick up some massive liner. Well, not me, <laughs> all of those guys. <laughs> hey Chris, how much content am I supposed to be making right now? Everything, all of everything. it. Everything, mm -hmm. content, everything. Yep. Here I am.
snap back at it. Look at us, an hour worth of work right here. And we officially have our wetland filter put in, all the liner, fabric, got some cobbles going in just to help secure it. We're gonna start filling this wetland up with some larger boulders and then going from larger to smaller boulders just to help with that filtration process. Hope you guys have an awesome day and see you on the next one. back it's back we're back whatever you know what we're doing day four out here we have built a wall inside of the liner here this is going to hold back all of the substrate inside of our wetland you can see we've got the guys throwing the layer of cobbles down over our aqua box then we have our snorkel centipede and there's that three inch line we'll tie into that but the joint side of that snorkel centipede goes all the way back there's the snorkel back there this is our wetland filter this is the liver for the system the reason we put this wall in here is because after digging conditions rather than for us trying to build a ledge or a wall inside and then come back down and then eating up all that extra liner we had some extra scrap liner what we did is we put the brick wall in we've got a drop liner back behind the brick wall that comes down the inside portion of the wetland filter and then we just ended up taping it up and down the sides and creating basically a watertight seal now it's not 100 percent watertight but what it'll disallow is that water to weep through the little gaps and crevices in this wall and actually push the water up through the substrate so we're not losing any of the functionality of our wetland filter. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna start rocking in. We are going to rock in front of this wall as well to hide it. They want a natural look, so no architectural wall. They want a natural look inside the formal pond. The only thing that's going to look formal is going to be that coping edge all the way around. So now that we've got that done, some guys are gonna finish off roughing in the wetland filter, and then the rest of us are gonna start rocking in this side over here of the pond. That way we can build ourselves a little ledge. We're not gonna rock any higher than the top of this wetland filter, maybe a couple inches higher in through here. So we're gonna need to pull these boulders out a little bit to help build us gravel pockets because otherwise we would need four foot boulders to come all the way up along this wall. But we do not have four foot boulders and we don't have any machines. So we're gonna give it a little bit more of an organic shape, make some room for lily pockets. You also see some plumbing down here on the floor. We are going to run circulation jets all along the floor as well up closer to the surface to help push water out back into the main channel and then taking back into our skimmer intake area. The other thing that we have going on in this project is you saw the brick saws and stuff going yesterday, but we have three cutouts, one there, one there, and one back over there. And those are going to house our 32 inch square patio ponds. And we recess them down. They will sit inside the liner. All the plumbing for all of the feature will all stay inside the liner. What it helps us in doing is by keeping all that plumbing inside the liner, we don't have to dig up either underneath the patio apron that comes this way or dig up behind these boxwoods. We're just gonna keep everything inside and make everything nice and tight. And then we can also rule out any leaks in the plumbing and prevent anything from happening. So we're gonna keep all the plumbing inside the liner on this one. Anyways, we're gonna get to rocking. We'll check back in and we'll open. Right, we're getting to that point. Things are getting rinsed. We're gonna start filling, get the lilies back in. Woo. We are so close. Everything is rocked, plumbing is done. Everything looks fantastic. These are those square patio ponds that we worked in along the edge. It took us forever and a day to cut in. You can see we've got our two inch line coming up. We'll put a ball valve in there. We've got a light inside. This looks awesome. 